It was pass. She had a lot of pass. Yo la yo bukoko Fika utatupata hapa Eh I wish after the dance they came and helped us do this. She's pressing pass. We Esther was in a lot of pain. Now we know why. This type of jig is the smaller in size, really, uh, cause.
Fukuza yonzi Fukuza yonzi this um, fingers the the second finger is is cut not, not even the second she has one two three fingers chopped off and that is obviously not because of the jigger it could be some ailment or something people have diseases here that uh, cannot be diagnosed very strange sicknesses and diseases that cut off people's uh, body parts and there is so much that is not done with regards to research to really establish what these things are and I think the Jiga should help the world to understand that um, we have so much that has not been discovered yet and um, amazing it should be that um, they were not aware about the jigger and these little videos that um, are not very very good are really teaching the world educating the world about this uh, problem that is so huge in rural Africa and which governments and institutions really deny uh, the politician says it is too shameful to admit that it is there and the church says it is a curse and needs prayer and not digging and the society says it is um, negligence from the victim themselves the victims are to be blamed 
and maybe it's through the blood, the inheritance through the blood, because the grandfather had it and the father had it, and now the grandchild is having it. So, it must be in the blood. Different um, explanations, and all of them don't really help in any given way because the jiga is given a chance to thrive um, and multiply in the midst of explanations that uh, don't help anybody or anything in any circumstance. Mwana msakami, unasikia na managani sasa sweetie? Uko sawa? Unasikia mzuri? Si uchungu sana? She says it's not so painful. Without Lady Kane, I don't think we would be touching this woman. It would be too painful. Look at the parts. And, uh, This is what made life so unbearable for um, Esther. She's lived with a lot of pain. This to la sosa. Mwana msakami. Ocha kusosa. 
It's so hard to even film. The finger is torn, filled with the pus. Type of pain it has to go through. It is pain that cannot be put into words. We're grateful for the selection that is purely heavenly that these volunteers should be around to administer the much needed help. Esther was supposed to go to the government hospital and you can blame her they normally go there but the corruption never assisted and if government has to really explain and say well she didn't come they should have a mechanism of getting hold of her through medical officers that she can go around to identify cases that cannot even walk to the um, medical facilities and administer the help that is needed I think government would do that but I will not get to that because there are consequences of mentioning um, some things it's really sad and it, it wears my heart and I cannot help myself but just say something that is offensive and then I then uh, bear the consequences of my talking, of my loose speech. Sometimes I wear that with, with gladness because it's the truth. Still coming in. Tom? No. Noah? Okay, Noah. Karibu sana idea. Thanks, bro. Appreciate it. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to get the money. I'm not going to be able to
Anyone would you switch your hand to cook or eat or do anything for that matter? And yeah, those are the fingers and the hands and the what you Esther was supposed to use to scratch herself to take food and put it in her mouth. She has had a bad life, this woman. And, uh, of course, these fingers are not going to grow back. But they are going to be pain-free. At least they are going to be pain-free. 
Wapi uko? Basi wende uwalete. Leta wale wako mbaya, wale wanatembea watembee. Wale wako mbaya sana weka baiskeli uletwe. Tukupea kitu. Walete tuwasaidie. Kwa maana hata tukisaidia hawa na kuna wengine itatoka kuyambukiza tena. Tukao tumefanya zero work. Hebu usichoke enda. Mm-hmm. 
meticulous work done with precision slowly and carefully and now um, Esther is um, of course through having pain it's necessary pain because she's been freed her right hand that must have not been used forever is now jigger free and uh, H2O2 is being prepared and soon she's going to have um, her dose which will really bite again I'm sorry we have we have Anna brought us uh, uh, the wind uh, I don't know what how to call them they they blow the current, the currents of uh, wind, and that makes um, the place lay stinky because uh, the peroxide really stings. So, this is the stinging. We are sorry we don't have it now. It has gone with another team in a different place. It's anticipating the pain. Deforming. Somebody was saying deforming is caused by the presence of blood. But even in places where there's no blood, we find forming. I think forming is the response to impurities. Because the more dirty the place is, the more foamy it is when peroxide is applied there. It doesn't just respond to hemoglobin, to blood, but to dirt. We're moving to the left hand, this precious woman. And as we can see, her husband is receiving his dose through the other volunteer who is also a nurse and uh, this guy looks on is waiting for his chance to break even and walk in the same liberty that we have these ones walking in we applied lidocaine but it took a lot of time on the right hand and as we apply again, we realize it's even painful just applying. Just, you know, touching the, that place is, is painful. So after the application, I have to wait for some three minutes for lidocaine to take effect before we can complete the process of having Esther 
officially freed from Jigas. And then we will uh, start the, with working with her home to disinfect it. And, and of course, with her body to also get her clean clothing. And then on her bed to get her uh, the right bedding. And then, um, and then we will do counseling for her to understand a few things that will help her sustain her freedom. Uh, from this jiga affliction, which is the worst affliction to ever have. Uh, this is the worst thing that can ever come to you, the jiga. It is the worst you can ever have. It's so painful just getting uh, hard to be dark. Because it's too sensitive. This brown small variety, somebody was saying there are, there are no varieties in jiggers. I think we have varieties. We have some that are so big and others are small. And the big ones, for the big jiggers, you, you really can see the pus. But this small one will always present a lot of gangrene and a lot of pus and uh, the, of course that must be accompanied with too much pain and that is why it is so painful to dig out this small type of jiggers. I have had the small type of jigger bite me and I just couldn't sleep but then again I have had the big type bite me and I realized there was a jigger there, but then I forgot about it. And by the time I was considering that again, it was a big jigger, so big, and yet I hadn't gone through that much pain. So we have different varieties of jiggers. And of course, we, we have never claimed to be professors in the jigger world. What we simply do is to just expose this thing and, and take videos of the same. Uh, and we were doing, we have been taking videos of jiggers in the last four years. But, and then six months ago, we discovered that we can monetize those videos so that we can increase the revenues. We can, you know, get extra money to help us in the campaign. So then we started um, getting revenue from these video clips about six months ago. But we did that for three years without monetizing our videos. And so for somebody to say, well, they're doing that and they're doing it so that they can get monetization money, that is, that is not true. Because we were doing it without monetization and we did that for years. So if, if money was the the motivation and not education, then we would have stopped filming because we filmed for over three years without ever receiving any revenues out of it. And then finally, we then monetized the videos. And so, please, 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 respect, respect, please. So let's be careful what we say about people. The little cane has taken effect and so she's a bit relaxed. Without it, she wouldn't be relaxed. She would actually scream. She's the type that can scream. I can look at the face of somebody and, and tell what type they are. And I think Esther is the screaming type. And she would scream. You have people who have different proclivities. And uh, you can tell what they could easily do. 
I at least you do. Sometimes I'm wrong, not always right. First, the smallest finger, we're digging that one step at a time, one jigger at a time, and uh, we move up and free that finger and move to the next finger and go to the next one until all of them are completely jigger free. Then it will just be about working on the mechanisms that will ensure that these fingers no longer get these vicious uh, insects, vicious pa parasites, back there again. They eat your food. They torment you. They eat you. They take everything out of you. And... Uh, we are glad to setting these captives free. This is the gospel. According to me, this is the true gospel. The gospel of love, ministry, ministering to the sick, getting low and touching the untouchables, the despised, those that media cannot cover in places where nobody can notice you. Um, I believe that is the gospel. And much of the ministry of Jesus Christ, who is my example and my mentor, was also deep in villages. And his ministry was so big that uh, the reporters and media followed him, um, followed him up there. Uh, but I'm too small, no media follows me up. And I'm so glad nobody does. They only see my videos and really start discussing about them. But they don't follow me to the ground so that I can have the liberty of um, narrating as it is without being influenced or being careful about anybody around for whatever reason they have come um, around for. had uh, pass and pass oh, at the back of that little finger how could I or anyone imagine that uh, you have jikas back there well, we can see they are there they are, they are and um, we are not very lucky tonight being dark out 
being sliced through. Actually, not even being dark out. They're being sliced through by this very sharp tool called the scalpel. There are many of them in one place where they look like one big jigger. There are small jiggers in, this, in one place. This old man, can you come over and bring me a Samuel or Chin? Samuel or Chin? Oh, Samuel. Samuel is also having that and he has some very tough skin. It calls for slow cutting. Mm -hmm. 